to Muslims who correct a convert's Arabic. Stop it. No, you don't have to stop it. Do what you feel like you need to do. But let me put something in perspective for you. See that right there? That's how I learned how to pray. This is from an old book that I found. So this is before YouTube, before you can find a video to teach you how to say the Arabic correctly. Back in the day, you would get a book and you would try to learn how to say the prayer like these English letters are telling you, but it actually doesn't match up. So this is called transliteration. So transliteration is the Arabic in English letters to help you pronounce the Arabic. And if you read just the first one, for example, and you have an American accent <laughs> is not saying in the name of God in Arabic it's bis <laughs> I don't I don't know what it is but it's not how it sounds in Arabic so when a Muslim used to correct me back in the day they had no idea. I'm like, really? Do you know I learned Arabic like this from a book? <laughs> I'm just sharing, putting things in perspective. Now this is old school, but it still has an effect on how I pronounce Arabic nowadays. You know, learning Arabic like this, or at least the opening of the prayer like this, I still have the bad habits that I picked up from reading the Arabic in transliteration. So, just sharing, found this book, thought it was interesting. Maybe it'll help Muslims stop being judgmental, focusing on how to pronounce Arabic Instead of focusing on, hey, my man is trying, or hey, homegirl is trying. If Muslims would have only known I was at home learning how to pray <laughs> like this. Anyways, hopefully it puts things in perspective. Peace and love.